What's up, nail friends? It's Sarah here, and today is the last video for mine and Talia's 12 day holiday series, and today is going to be a collection tour. So, I've done a few of these in the past. I like to do one of these a year to kind of change things up and organize differently. Um, so, I'm really excited to show you guys how my collection is looking right now. So let's get started. So, first things first is, of course, my backdrop. So this is my backdrop. This is where I keep all my glitter balls gel polishes because I just like the way it looks in my background, having the light behind it and having them be fully visible. Plus they're super heavy. So putting them inside my Alex drawer units, pretty annoying because then they are too heavy <laughs> and they take up a ton of space. That's what I keep up here all the time. And I basically just change the decor. So right now this is super, super Christmassy and uh, I'm kind of sick of it by now. It's been about a month of having this uh, Christmas decor and I'm thinking that next time I redo it, I'm gonna do something more white and blue, maybe for January, stick with some winter colors. I'm, I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to kind of show you guys this stuff. Um, I showed you guys how I decorated this in my first video of the series. But I did add a couple things since then. I got this really cute poinsettia flower pot. That's like a fake plant my mother-in-law gave to me. And it's got really cute little snowmen on it. And then I added my Luminary Nail Systems. They made a snow globe with their limited edition color last year called Shine. So I added that in my background as well. Because why not? That's fun. But that's all I've really added since... You guys saw me decorate this but yeah i can't wait to change this up soon and have it be different okay so let's move on over here let's start with my cart so i do have one of these carts talia suggested getting it it just helps with organization so what i keep on my cart are my swatch sticks so i can easily grab them this is my gel swatch sticks then i also have a giant pile of acrylic swatch sticks right here um, I keep a little jar with all my rings in it for my fake hands, which are right here. I just kind of set them right here. I know that I could do something better with this. I haven't decided yet. Mine is definitely not as organized as Talia's is. I went with the smaller one. She did suggest going with the bigger one and I regret it. And she said I would regret it and I do. So she's, <laughs> so she's right. Um, I got extra swatch sticks here, just clear ones. And I think I have the stiletto ones in here too. I have some pencils that I like to use for hand painting. I've got just um, some forms and an extra stand. And then on my bottom one, I keep my keep my monomer bottles and my uh, alcohol, my e-file, and a lamp, and then a weight, which you guys might be like, what's the weight for? The weight is for this Archon mount. So when I need to use this mount, I grab the weight as well. So we're gonna get into what's in my drawers in my collection. But first, let's go over my desk. So I do not enjoy this desk. It is way too small for what I need. So I've actually just ordered something different. So I will put that together and show you guys. I bought the um, extra Alex drawer unit. They're like this tall and they have six, what are they called? Like six drawers and they're not very thick. So those are gonna be my legs. And then I have a bigger top. That's gonna give me so much more organization. So I'm gonna completely reorganize this room when that comes in. But for now, this is what I have and I'm gonna use this desk. I'm gonna put this desk like in the corner, I think. Not sure yet. And do it as my computer desk because I do need a spot to put my laptop. My laptop just kind of floats around the house with me. So I'd rather have like a dedicated laptop spot for editing. So in here I keep all my brushes. I've talked about this so many times, but in case you're new and you're curious, this is just one of those makeup bins that you can get on Amazon. I use it for nails instead. And I just added extra beads in here. You can get like crystals or colored beads. I went with the white. I usually have like cotton ball stuff in here, but I ran out of those. So keep lint free wipes and stuff like that. And then I keep all my brushes in here. I don't have to worry about light getting in my room and ruining my brushes because this room, I cover the window completely. So I also keep all my filming stuff in here. 
<laughs> there's lots of it. Um, my main camera is here on an Archon mount. And again, I have a weight. So this is my camera I use for overhead. And I can move it up and down or move it completely out of the way. I have one of these I keep on my desk as well. This is for my cell phone. So if I want to be doing uh, Instagram stories and stuff, I can put this on my desk. Or if I want to watch something while I'm working on my phone, then that's there. So let's go inside the desk for now. What I have inside the desk, I don't know where to put my lenses. I can't find my lens cap, so I just put them here for now until I can find that one. These are not the lens caps for that. These are for my other cameras. But this is like kind of what I use a lot for content creating. So I've got my Luminary Clarity, my Empower Top Coat. I have a Blooming Gel. I have some butter creams that are great for quick hand painting. Um, gold foil. I have like a mix here of clear acrylic and glitter for sprinkling on. I've got my hollow taco protective peel. So that's just kind of like my quick area. Next over I keep some of these um, uh, Opre uh, like sculpted stiletto and coffin shapes. So these are just my extra packs that I don't have in my tip drawer. Um, and I use these for compilation videos. Over here is where I keep like lip gloss um, and I have like some other fun stuff. So I have my palettes. I use these for crystals. This is just a little art brush or a little like dust brush. These were made by Kelsey's Claws. I keep my um, metal file boards and the refills in here. That's mostly what I use is the metal files and refills. And then I have some pens over here. I like to keep all my like usable top coat, dehydrators and stuff like that here. My base glue for gluing crystals and my clear acrylic. And then in here's just some tools. So I got pinching tools, dotting tools, and um, a crystal picker upper, some tweezers. Just quick, easy things to grab. I got buffing blocks and these are just tiny micro swabs. They're for applying crystals. Back here I have all my I keep all my e-file bits in here. And then I have a pair of scissors as well. I got my cuticle pusher and scissors and then more dust brushes. And then right here I keep my red iguana fingers and extra tips for my hands. So that's just what's in the drawer for now. I can't wait to get my new desk set up so I can show you guys that. I'm gonna have so much more space right now. I'm like really struggling for space over here in this corner i have another rack of gel i'm not sure if i'm going to put these on this side when this is all redone i haven't decided yet but these are the new gels and then i also have all the i have a, co uh, a cuticle oil and then i also have all the builder and a bottles here too um and then behind it i have my december video month where i kept track of all the videos that went up this month which were a lot in here, I can't open this because I don't want to take this off, but I just have all my loose paper. And then whenever I feel like doing compilations, I have to find the papers I want and then stick them back in there. This is going, this drawer. It is broken, there's a bunch of broken ones in here. So this is unused. Um, some of these don't, don't open well like this one. So I'm not really gonna use this anymore. This is gonna be thrown out, taken apart, whatever. And then my new desk will go here, and then this desk will go here. And yeah, so that is how I have it set up. My space is very, very small. I do not have a lot of room for content creating, but I really don't need a lot. I also have a work office um, that's in a different building, and that is for all my nail thrown stuff. And sometimes I edit in there, but this is just where I create content and where I want my laptop to be for when I feel like editing inside. Okay, so let's move on to my collection. So in here, this is my, I have two kind of like random Alex Story units. So this one, I keep all my tips. So all my glitter balls tips, that's the only tip brand I use. But then I also have my full coverage gel X for Opre, and I love to use these on my own nails and in my fake hands. So I have a bunch of them. I just wanted to try them out. So I've got like this full cover stiletto. I have these ones, which are kind of cool, but I don't really use much. These are called Tokyo Spice by Brittany Tokyo. And they're just like a square nail-ish. 
with a heart in it. A heart cut out. So that's kind of interesting. I just bought them for a one-time video and I haven't really used them since, but I could totally use these for compilation videos. I just haven't. And then I have the coffin and, ooh, I love these ones. The Sean Legend shaped ones. Then I have the colored ones, which I had on my nails, which I polished over top of. The next drawer down, I keep all my clear jelly stamper products. So I've got lots of polishes. I've got some polish kits here that I just keep there because I've already filled all my, my little uh, bins with uh, clear jelly stamper polishes. So I just have some extra polish things there. I never ended up getting a book for those smaller plates. So I got to figure that out. So they're just sitting here on their own. I always keep lint rollers around for that too. I've got two books in here full of plates. And then down the next one down, I have more. So I have two more plates books in here. I've got Egoista, the 4D gel paste. This stuff's cool. I've got some art products in here. So I've got my spider gels. Um, these are like some chrome powders I just got. And then over here, I've got my Opre uh, art inks, which I think are packaged pretty cute. So I'm wondering if when this is all non Christmassy, if I should put them on one of those shelves just for background. I don't know. We'll see. And then I keep a watercolor palette, another lint roller, and then we keep going down here and we got gel products. So I've got some well, I, you guys probably know I used to have a lot more gel products. I got rid of a lot of stuff because I don't have enough room. So I basically got to pick and choose what I want to keep in here. So I keep all my luminary in here. Um, and then I've got Beamy Beauty Box. I love the metal leaf gels they have because they're just like so easy in one coat. Great for hand painting. I love to use them for compilations. And then I've got my, my magic gel and I've got some ugly duckling stuff for like liner brush, liner stuff. Yeah, just random stuff in this drawer. <laughs> and then again, I went with kind of ra some random gel products in the next drawer. So I've got all my light elegance. It's not pretty packaged or put anywhere nice. I don't really use hard gel very much just for videos sometimes. I kept some Coco and Claire stuff. Um, I've got these cool see-through like glass gels, but these are from Ego Wista, so I kept a bunch of those. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, oh, over here are some like glittery gel polishes that I thought were cool that I kept. I got some, I kept some cat eyes from Ugly Duckling. Then I have a bunch of that uh, poly gel tube gel stuff, but I don't really use it. It's just for if I feel like making videos, so I have that there. And then I have some samples of light elegance there. So that is this whole one. Like it's just got some art products in it. This one is one of my favorite drawers because we've got color organized, colored acrylic. So I love this drawer. All of my colored acrylics are now only glitter bells. That's all I use. I love it. It's great. If you guys have been watching my tutorials, I use glitter bells now and it is super smooth and beginner friendly and easy to use. They've got some beautiful colors like this dragon fruit. And then I kind of did this one by hot pinks into like more like neutral pinks, light pinks, light purples, darker purples into like blue. Sorry if I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, I really like this one, berry grape. This is kind of new. I consider that one more like a purple. It's kind of hard sometimes when you organize these because you could put this in the purple or the red. Same with this one over here. This one's called Cocktail Sparkle. You could put it in the pink or the red. So I chose the pink here, but on my swatch stick, it's in the red. So I don't know. That's what the store looks like. Very pretty. I love the color organization. So you could do these by name or number but they just look so cool when they're done by color. <laughs> so over here we continued with the turquoises and then we got medium dark blues and then we get into greens. So I've got um, Forbidden Forest here. I kind of put this in between blue and green because it kind of is. And then we get lighter green and then we go with neon greens and then yellows. 
We got light, light, light yellows into darker yellows, into orange, into coral. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to decide like if the coral should be near the pinks or if they should be near the oranges. So I just kind of like, I don't know. I just kind of play around and do whatever. Next drawer is more orange. And then we get into the nudes and plain ones like sandstone. And then we get into the golds and then we get into the browns. The browns and the reds. So we got brown, it goes all the way to like chocolate and strawberries, poison apples starting to get red, maple leaf, and then antique gold. I don't know why I put antique gold there actually. But that's fine. They don't have to be perfect. And then we got red, black, gray, silver. We got white into glitter. So now we're going from white acrylic into white iridescent glitter. So the glitter is the best. I love looking at it all. I've opened some of these up for you. So this one's Rainbow Crush. Super, super hard to see actually in here. And then we got more pinks, neon pinks, and then we got darker pink. This one's called Pink Fluff Chunky. It's very cute. It's got little butterflies in it. And then I'm just gonna go into the next one because this is all acrylic. This is all glitter wells. So I will the sticker came off on some of these, so I need to get some new stickers for a couple of these, you can see here, which is really annoying. I like them to all be cohesive, but I'll get stickers eventually for those. So we got the purple, or we finish off the pinks, and then we go into purple, and then the purple fades into blues, and then into like, you know, we're starting to get into green over here. And then this is the last drawer on this Alex drawer unit of greens that go into gold, that go into copper and brown, which go into like peach, yellow, orange, and then we get into red, and then we get into rainbow, like fish food, carnival, and then we get into black. And then that is that drawer, but I have so much glitter bells that it does continue into this drawer. I just have a bit of the silver glitters, so. And then we start with the core powder. So the core powders, I'm thinking when I get my new desk, I will move them into the new desk. And then I can continue on because I don't have every single, I know it seems like I have every single color, but I don't have every single color yet. And I would like to get every single color. So I'm probably gonna need to fill up at least one or two more of these for every single glitter bells color. So I wanna make sure I have everything. So that when I show you guys it, I can, you know, do comparisons and stuff. Okay, now we're moving on to the fun glitter. And this is all glitter balls again. So we've got loose glitter. Glitter balls, loose glitter. So what I've done is color organize these. Again, I've got my iridescent and clear ones. And we've got some pink. And we've got silver. And then it's, I started to go with gold, but the gold kind of also goes into here <laughs> with the green. And then we got blues black and red and purple, orange, and yellow. I'm going to open a couple of these up to show you guys because these are loose glitters and they'll be way easier for you guys to see them. So this one is from the iridescent glitters. It's called Jewel Multi Mix. I'm going to spill glitter freaking everywhere, but that's okay. This one's called Blossom Mix. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I really, really like this one. These do come with travel lids, but I took them out, which seems to be a mistake because without the travel lids, they're easy to spill. <laughs> but look at this holographic rainbow mix. So pretty. You guys probably know I love the color green. So this one, Ivy, so pretty. I always show you guys this one. This one's called Chameleon Mixed. Ugh, it's just so cool. Look at it, the color shift. This one is like a blue pink mix called Popping Candy, isn't it? So pretty. So yeah, glitter balls make some amazing loose glitters. You can use them with anything you want, like gel, acrylic, dip, um, gel polish, if you use like a builder in a bottle. Let's move on to the next drawer, which we have more glitter. I haven't really changed this from my last video. I just kind of keep my loose glitters organized like this. 
They're just in these acrylic bins. You guys have seen me talk about these before. You can get these at the, the dollar store, or you can actually get them on Amazon, I think. But I always get mine at my local dollar store, because then you can just get them right away and you don't have to wait. But I have loads of different loose glitter here from different brands. So the brands I have in here are like Glitter Hub in Australia, The Glitter Life Shop, um, Glitter Planet, stuff like that. This drawer has more glitter. So again, I just didn't want to get rid of anything like this because they're just too pretty to get rid of. And I can use them for compilations. There's just, it's like endless glitter. <laughs> so this one I've got all my Magpie Beauty USA brand. Um, I really like these small glitters over here. This one's like a little leaf and then they have little dot glitters. They also came out with um, like shaped glitters like this. This one's like little stars. I really like these little stars. Um, over here I keep a lot of the nail team. So these are the small glitters from the nail team. I think these are little five gram jars. These ones are kind of Christmassy, which I totally forgot about. See, I didn't even know I had snowflakes. Oh, I should have looked a little harder when I was doing my compilations and series and stuff. I forgot I had some of this stuff. <laughs> See, when you have too much stuff, sometimes you forget you have it. Um, and then I got more like chromes and flakes back here. Um, there's like Beamy Beauty Box chromes. They do make chromes as well as their uh, flaky leaf gels. But yeah, so I keep the, those there and I have more Light Elegance chromes. And I have some shaped stuff here. So I've showed you guys these in the past, but like little mermaid things. This one is stars, little stars. And then those are just some like, you know, triangle shape um, and then over here I have more chrome and then I keep broken and crappy clear jelly stampers that I don't really use anymore in this area because I got the sticky polish from clear jelly stamper and with sticky polish you can put chrome over top of it and transfer chrome to your polish which is kind of cool okay I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of crystals I don't have a load of crystals I wish I had more but I don't have a good organization for them yet so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that these are still Swarovski crystals. I haven't tried a different brand yet. They're not going to be selling to retailers anymore. So this is what I have for my collection. It's not that exciting looking in here. I need to figure something out with this. But over here I've got like those small wheels of stuff. Um, I've got like these little beads and shapes. I really got to look through this more often. And then this right here is from Beaming Beauty Box. I really, really like these. Stuff like that. Over here, I've got all my chromes and flakes from Get Buff Nails. They make chromes and flakes as well. They also have a Canadian distributor if you guys are looking. I will link both in my description box. Over here, I have, these are from Glitter Bells. I don't know, I don't think they sell these anymore, but I have this pack of 12. And then I have some shells that I got. And then I keep all my fake, or sorry, dried, real dried flowers here for flower nails. <laughs> Super pretty. You just cut these up and put them in nails. You can do like milk bath nails and stuff. And then the last drawer I have is my newest stuff and I keep my foil. So here's all my foils. I've got all my like foil organized. But then I also have these new foils I got from this place called Sugar My Nails. So I keep these here. Then I also have other stuff. So I keep all my like decals and like stickers and stuff just back here. Again, I gotta figure out some more organization tips for this, but my, like I said, I don't have enough space, but hope, hoping with my new desk, I will. Um, I keep all my like tiny charms from that place called Cute Nail Charm. She makes these 3D flowers and stuff. So I like to keep those here. This is kind of like my, I kind of put new stuff in here sometimes. I got a striping tape. And then I have more sugar from the nail team that I keep down here. And some glitter from nails. But let me tell you that I do have more crappy storage. Uh, I just shoved stuff in here. <laughs> but just in case you're wondering where I keep like my napkins and stuff and my extra, my extra things. Like that's where I put all that. This isn't organized anymore. It used to be really organized, but you know. It gets unorganized really easily. I keep all my other fake hands in here. There's more, more fake hands. Um, I keep like buffing blocks. 
acrylic uh, paint, piles of swatch sticks, more acrylic bins. These are just full of stuff that I don't really use on a daily basis, so I just keep it all packed away in here. I will organize that soon. I also forgot to mention that I have a sink and under the sink I have all my other like liquids. So I have like acetone, more uh, monomer, stuff like that, but it's not organized. So I don't want to show you guys that. Um, I, uh, I highly, highly recommend you head on over to Talia's channel and check out her video from for today because she has a huge space way bigger than mine <laughs> she has it organized amazing um you just you have to go watch i don't know how her video like how she's filming her video but just trust me um she is the person i get most of my organization tips from so you must she's like a must watch for organization of your studio when i get my new desk in i will definitely show you guys me organizing it maybe i'll do like a little vlog about that because I'm gonna really change up things and be able to add more things in here and clean up my clean up my cabinets. I'll clean up my cabinets and when that's all organized again, I will show you guys and I'm really excited to finally have like a dedicated space for my laptop because I hate having to move around to edit. So I hope you guys enjoyed what checking out my collection. Um, let me know down below what your favorite part of my room is. I know it's not a big space, but I did the, I do the best I can with what I have to work with. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell next to it to be notified when I post. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'll probably be posting one more video before the end of the new year, but maybe we'll see how that goes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed our 12 day holiday series. If you missed any of the videos, I have a full playlist full of all the videos that we did this uh holiday season um and yeah thank you so much you guys we really enjoy doing this i hope you guys have a great holiday season and a merry christmas if you celebrate and i will see you guys later bye and clean up my and clean up my uh and clean up and clean up my see I can't remember anything. Cabinets. Clean up my cabinets. Okay.